A donation of medical supplies and equipment, meantime, has been received from the diaspora to benefit the nation's senior citizens. Harris Hamadi Mark with the details. As the country continues to cope with restraints inflicted by COVID-19, allies are stepping up to offer assistance. A radio station in New York, Watch Radio, and the members of the diaspora contributed commodes, wheelchairs, and supplies to assist the daily operations of five elderly care homes in St. Lucia. The donation was presented to the recipients by Ambassador for Diaspora Affairs, Her Excellency Dr. Jocelyn Fetcher. My office is so proud of Watch Radio for the contributions. I mean, I'm proud totally of all the diaspora, of what they're doing, um, they have been doing from since this COVID pandemic started in St. Lucia. They have just been sending stuff to St. Lucia for schools, for children's homes, for the um, people who are in, in, in dire straits. They answer the call. You see the long lines at Western Union and MoneyGram. They have just been sending and sending and sending. And I am overwhelmed with gratitude and so is the government and people of St. Lucia. The donation from Watch Radio and the members of the diaspora was facilitated by the St. Lucia Social Development Fund with support from the St. Lucia and Seaports Authority. Anya Edwin is the Resource Mobilization Officer at the SSDF. The SSDF continues to be very grateful, very much available as well to all our diaspora counterparts Every person in the diaspora who thinks it's necessary or who see the need to provide support to St. Lucians at home and even within their respected diaspora nations as well. We have five recipients today, five homes in St. Lucia, and um, I know for a fact that they're grateful. I was speaking to one of the recipients earlier from the St. Lucia's home, and he expressed how much of a dire need it is for them to, for them now within the various homes and being aware of what items are in these boxes and even the wheelchairs as well it is just very um, motivating it's very it's an opportunity to welcome a relationship with them especially watch radio and to take care of our people within these homes peter diodoni said slaspa is pleased to be able to assist with the facilitation of such a necessary donation being the principal warehouser for the state um, SLASPA is happy to, to partner with the Office of the Prime Minister and through your office, Ambassador, um, um, Ambassador um, Fletcher and the Diaspora Affairs Unit in facilitating, of course, not only the receipt of these items, but also um, transferring them to the various homes. And um, we are happy to assist in whatever way. Sister Annie Reno expressed gratitude on behalf of the recipients and encouraged the donors to continue the good work. When uh, Watch Radio embarked on this mission, uh, we thought it would be a quick delivery. Uh, the pandemic has proved otherwise in terms of delay. But nevertheless, uh, you were persistent and you have persevered. And so... I would like to thank you for your perseverance. Thank you for all those who collaborated uh, with you. Thank you for all those you encourage uh, to donate uh, towards uh, these institutions. The recipients include St. Lucy's Home, the Marian Home, Cornerstone, Mission of Charity, and the Villa St. Joseph. From the Government Information Service, I'm Humedi Mark reporting.